You know, there's a reason for Project Red Star that I bought all AMD, at least this time around. I wanted to see if this resizable bar, this smart access memory thing, SAM, no, not the SAM from Mass Effect Andromeda. I wanted to see if SAM actually was going to improve the overall performance of my system. And now that BIOSes finally have this as quasi-officially available, I now feel comfortable covering it while we're talking about this GPU. So in this video, I'm gonna go over exactly how to enable BAR, kind of what it is, and the potential impact that it could have on my system. I am the Graying Tech, a gaming insider. If you would like to learn how to improve your gaming performance, start now by clicking that subscribe button. This right here will be the quickest, easiest way for you to get additional performance out of your system. I'm going to enable the resizable bar, the AMD smart memory feature here on my ASUS motherboard, and it is super quick and simple. In the upper right hand corner, it says resize bar. Use the mouse, click that, select on, then navigate over to exit, and then you're going to save and reset. It's going to enable and it's going to set this to auto. It's going to do its thing and then you're done. That's all you have to do in order to enable. And once you do, you're actually going to see real improvements, measurable improvements, as you can see here with the Cap Frame X tool. I've run six different benchmarks with Borderlands 3, Far Cry 5, and Hitman 3, XMP, 4K, Real Rage, all activated with our 300 power limit also set. And you can see Borderlands 3 had tremendous average frames per second increases and extremely tight 1 and 0.1 percentile FPS numbers. Far Cry 5 saw an increase, Hitman 3 saw a slight increase without also having decreases in the 0.01 or the 1 percentiles with the exception of Hitman, a slight decrease in the 0.01 percentile. But that's it. So this is almost free performance, something that you can easily turn on. So how do you get it? Well, first off, you have to have a 5000 series CPU, a 6000 series GPU, an X570 motherboard. That is the easiest way to get access to this feature. Now, Intel, NVIDIA, AMD are all looking to enable this for motherboards that have already shipped, for GPUs that are already shipped, and for CPUs that have already shipped. So there's going to be a lot of attention focused on enabling this feature for everybody across the board. And I'm willing to bet that once this becomes enabled across the board, this is just going to be something that's turned on, and we're not even going to benchmark with it on anymore. It's, it's that awesome of a feature. What does this actually do? The CPU can do computations on the behalf of the GPU. And it can do so in the VRAM memory, the video memory, on behalf, again, of the GPU. But it had a hard limit of 256 megs. Allowing the GPU to give the CPU more RAM to utilize can decrease latency even further and allow the CPU to do even more of the tasks directly in that VRAM. So theoretically, it's gonna speed up processes that the GPU requires of the CPU. So that's why you're seeing some of these differences in the game types, right? Where some of them are taking more advantage than the others. But that's it. It's a simple little thing that if you turn it on, it's ready to go. But there's one other thing. You have to update your BIOS. Before you go and you mess with any update of your BIOS, absolutely, positively, 100%, make sure you store an external profile of all of the hard work that you have already done up to this point, save that to a USB stick if you haven't already. When you're ready to update your BIOS, you need a FAT32 formatted USB stick, 2.0, that's the white, black, what you're avoiding is the blue. You wanna make sure it is 16 gigs or less. And the BIOS that you wanna make sure that you're getting is this Aegis 1.2.0.0 or newer version. This is the, the latest version of the Aegis. This has a lot of stability fixes and a lot of things that kind of help this resize bar feature. And it's not in beta anymore. So it's fully out, available for everybody in a stable shipping condition. Grab this BIOS update, flash your BIOS, 
look from your manufacturer how exactly to do that, reestablish that profile, turn on the bar functionality, and you're ready to go. It really is just that simple. Results are in, but now it is time to squeeze even more. Remember, I have a high suspicion, along with a lot of the internet community, that these GPUs are power limited. Artificially so. And I know of a tool that's actually going to allow us to uncap those power limits. As controversial as that may be, I'll cover it here in the next video.